Hi, and welcome to Drinking and Dating in the 21st Century. I'm Sean. Leah. Josh. And Scott. And today we're going to be talking to you more about some uh, great dating and uh, relationships and some great beverages. So today we're going to be talking about some alternative, not your traditional dates that you can go on. A lot of this stuff is outdoorsy, more active, gets you out and gets you interacting with your date. Um, for example, uh, we recently had in uh, here in our area, in the, the Utah area, the uh, Renaissance Fair come. It's a great way to go out, you know, spend some time walking around, have a turkey leg, and you know, get to have a good time with your date. So, uh, well, let's let's get started. Let's have a shot. Before that, guys, you gotta have your keys. <clears throat> All right, and Scott, what are we drinking today? Uh, today we are uh, drinking Captain Morgan's Parrot Bay Passion Fruit Rum. It smells All super right. fruity. Why is the rum gone? <laughs> All right, so my idea of an alternate date, the way I see it, sooner or later you're going to want to shoot him. So why not get it out of the way and go paintballing? There are quite a few places that you can generally find really good deals at. For instance, here locally, there are a couple of paintball places that do deals on Tuesdays, where you can get a lot of discounted prices, sometimes free rentals, and so long as you pay basically a small amount for the paintballs. Nice. And free is a good price? Free is a good price. All right. Well, guys, I got a, a beer I've never had before. And uh, I'm a little excited, to be perfectly honest. Can you pull that out? Pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. It's uh, <laughs> it's made by Guinness. It's called Smithwick's. And it looks like a really good uh, red ale. It has or a battlement amber. on it. Irish ale. It's got to be fucking good. I... Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I give up. That is really good. That is thick. <laughs> That's also what she said. <laughs> so it's a really smooth beer. I yeah. like that. It's got a really nice finish. Mm -hmm. It's uh, from the makers of Guinness. I'm not a super huge fan of Guinness. I know you are. That's blasphemy. It's it's. It's like bread and coffee just mm -hmm. mixed together. And this is just like that, only not so intense. So I like it a lot. I, I could drink this, quite quite a lot of this, actually. No, this is delicious. This is very good. Mm. It's thick. You'd like this, Josh. <laughs> yes, you would. I'll just stick with my water. <laughs> <laughs> um... One thing that me and my girlfriend like to go do, instead of your traditional days, we like to go hiking. Uh, it's a good way to get outside, go see some things. Uh, it's always a good idea to pack a tent in case you want to take a mid-afternoon nap. 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 So <laughs> it's a good idea to get out there and go do. Do you need a tent for that nap? Don't, but if there's people that may walk by. It's Maybe. polite to True. at least bring it's a blanket. Definitely at least bring a blanket. Yes. Your <laughs> it right. might rain. Exactly. I, exactly. <laughs> you guys are filthy. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right. So for today's or this week's wine review, I chose one of my personal favorite brands. This is Rex Goliath. Now I've never actually had their white wines before, and pronounce that for me, please. A Pinot Grigio. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> so. I chose this originally because, uh, well, I like the bottle, and it has a big cock on it. And as Joss Whedon said once, everybody loves cock. So, let's go ahead and give this a try. I love that sound. Me too. It's the sound of happiness, isn't it? Yes, it can, is. Can I get a touch of that? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is that your red Solo wine cup? Yes, it is. Yeah, how's that? Yep, yeah, that's yeah, sure it is. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I 
That is a very sweet cake. It's really nice. Yeah, it's like sweet it. with really nice, nice, crisp, dry after. Yeah. It's smooth. It's smooth mm -hmm. going down, and it does have that dry aftertaste. That's really good. Mm hmm. Mm. Normally not a white fan. That's a very good. Yeah, it's pleasant. <coughs> <laughs> You know what? Your guys' dates are kind of like yours is pretty cool, but I know. Uh, you know, you know what a really great alternative date is. I'm sure you're gonna tell us. You bet your ass I am. <laughs> <laughs> Take her out the middle of the desert. No one can hear you possibly scream, and just unload some rounds. <laughs> I got the 12 gauge. Throw some skeet. Go shooting for the day. Probably not a good idea for a first date. Exploding hey, targets. Hey, you know what? If a potential new girlfriend will go shooting with you, you know she's solid. Because if she's like, that sounds stupid, then you know that it's not going to work out. You know, then you can know just that she's go. just good for the weekend? Yeah. Oh. That. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm that guy. All right. So, let's get into talking Mary about some for nine years. <laughs> So I've got a great mixed drink that I, I came up with this a few years ago at a party. It's one of my favorite things to do at a party, just go into the kitchen and play with the alcohol. Um, but the, the sad thing about this drink is it doesn't have a name yet. And uh, we need to come up with a name for it. And, uh, oh, uh oh, where's my glass? Use the red solo cup. Red solo cup. Uh, that's going to be a little small, but that's what she said to you. Not to me. <laughs> So we'll go, we'll go half measures. <clears throat> what you mix this with <clears throat> is uh, Patron XO Cafe. It is a uh, tequila liqueur with coffee. It's brilliant stuff. And then the second ingredient is Amaretto. Now you can use any brand you like. I personally like DeSorono. Oh, look at that. There's a much better glass for it. I love my friend's solo wine glass. <laughs> and then, of course, the final ingredient is a cola of some sort. Now, I'm using Coke Zero because, you know, I don't need the extra calories. But, uh, gotta watch my girlish figure. So you pour in the ca cafe, the amaretto. And you do equal portions. Yes, okay. equal portions. Uh, it's usually one shot or one double shot of each. And then you fill the rest of your glass with Coke. And uh, we're going to use the beer opener as a stir. Despite where it's been. It's been used for far worse things. So That's okay. <laughs> probably fine. Look it. I'm not going to look it. <laughs> <laughs> and that is your drink. That's what she said. Mm. God, I love that. So we need our uh, we need our viewers to give us some ideas for names. Yeah, we need some help. Drink and give it a name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's please delicious. leave a comment uh, in the section below or on Facebook or Twitter as to what this drink should be called. Feel free to go try it for yourself first and uh, let us know what you think of it and give it a name. Um, we'll uh, compile a list of the names and we'll take a vote on the best name for this drink. And uh, once again, thanks for joining us at Drinking and Dating in the 21st Century. Please remember to drink and date responsibly. And please click the subscribe button. And follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks a lot, guys. Have, Have a good weekend. Week.